Okay, now we have two bills that illustrate our commitment to environmental justice. Intro 886A sets up an interagency working group to create a citywide environmental justice plan and establishes an advisory board consisting of residents and experts to assist the working group. Intro 359A requires the new working group to conduct a study to identify and address environmental justice concerns and make relevant data and information available through a web portal. I want to thank Speaker Melissa Martin Lorito, Acting DEP Commissioner Vinny Sapienza, uh, Health Commissioner Dr. Mary Bassett, our uh, Chief Resiliency Officer Dan Zerilli, and the Director of the Mayor's Office on Sustainability, Mark Chambers. And now it's my pleasure to introduce Councilmember Inez Barron, sponsor of Intro 886A. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. It certainly is a pleasure and a privilege to be here today. And uh, I've been involved in justice issues for more than 50 years. And the environmental justice issue came right into my front door when Atlas Bio Corporation thought that they would bring a wood burning incinerator into East New York. He had tried to put it in Long Island and was rejected. And he thought that East New York was an easy target. Little did he know who he would encounter when he came. So we organized, we fought against it, and we said, no, you already have a transfer station here. And we're not going to let you bring a wood burning incinerator next to your transfer station to release 98 tons of carbon monoxide and 48 tons of sulfur dioxide and 20 other tons <coughs> of particulate matter each year. So we fought, we pushed back against the then DEP and the then borough president who were willing to have it come forward. But there was a group of people who came together, Rachel Gossel was a lawyer then, and we fought and we found a way, legal way, to prevent them from coming. So that was my first introduction to environmental justice in our community directly. Um, this is justice plan that's being signed today signed into the law today is monumental, and it's been 14 years since it was introduced for it to come here that it finally passed. I want to thank my predecessor, my husband, now Assembly Member Charles Mann, who introduced it. I want to thank the first proposers of it, the African American Environmentalist Association, and Mr. Norris McDonald is here, he brought the bill forward, and he has come all the way from California to be here for this bill signing. And I want to thank all of the environmental advocates who saw this was an important, groundbreaking issue and who supported it through the years. And what this does, it will bring fair treatment and, uh, and, just, and justice to all of the communities so that there will be equity in terms of both equity, equity, the environmental justice, burdens, and benefits. And we thank the mayor for working with us to be able to get this to a language that was acceptable to both of us. And it affirms that no group should bear a disproportionate share of the negative environmental consequences resulting from industrial, municipal, and commercial operation or the execution of federal programs or receive an inequitably low share of environmental benefits. So the interagency working group will work with the advisory board and we will come forth with plans that are going to be great because they're going to involve the people in the community, they're going to have them involved. And the other important part of this bill is that it will accumulate data as to what the impacts of these environmental sites are having on the surrounding population. So I would like to thank my colleagues. I would like to thank the chair, Costa Constantinides, who brought the bill forward. I would like to thank the mayor. I'd like to thank my husband, Charles Barron, for first introducing the bill. I'd like to thank the EJ advocates, Norris McDonald, the speaker, Melissa Mark Rito, uh, Ramon Martinez, the council staff, my staff, my chief of staff, Joy Simmons, my legislative director, Indigo Washington, and a special thanks for more than 10 years of untiring commitment and unswerving dedication. More than 10 years, I have to give a special shout out to the council and that's none other than Samara Swanston for continuing to fight and to push that this bill come home. I also want to thank Ed Atkins, Bill Murray, and Matt Boal, and Peggy Shepard, and Cecil 
Corbin Mark. Thank you. Now I've introduced your colleague. I'm impressed he's up to date on how he's supposed to express approval. Very good. Uh, my pleasure to introduce the sponsor of Intro 359A and the chair of the Committee on Environmental Protection, Councilmember Costa Constantinides. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for your strong environmental leadership. As uh, we see in D.C. Uh, recoil uh, from the values that we know to be New York values and, and human values and protecting those that are needed. Uh, New York City is leading the way. Uh, you know, to celebrate Earth Day this week, uh, this is a great way to end our Earth Day celebrations. Uh, you know, we are the first city in the nation to pass any piece of environmental justice legislation since the Trump inauguration, and the only city in the nation to pass environmental justice legislation this comprehensive. Uh, as all Americans are at risk of seeing their quality of life diminished because of the, the, the Trump's uh, hard, harsh cuts, that some will bear burdens more than others. Uh, communities that are most at risk of affecting climate change are most vulnerable. For far too long, low-income communities and communities of color have borne disproportionate burdens of power plants, highways, factories, and other sources of hazardous pollution. These emissions are stagnant and therefore concentrated in these neighborhoods. Because of this pollution, these neighborhoods have worse air quality, higher rates of asthma, and hospitalizations. This package of legislation that will help to our city services more equitably and fairly distribute. Intro 359 ensures the city identifies and studies environmental justice communities. This comprehensive study will include sources of pollution, adverse health impacts of the pollution, environmental impacts of city policies on communities, areas of participation in environmental decision making based by neighborhoods, the rate of current and potential future, future utilization of renewable energy. It, the bill also requires the uh, interagency working group to issue recommendations for legislation, policy, budget initiatives, and other measures to address environmental concerns affecting environmental justice community. Uh, as we mentioned, the portal uh, will be created showing boundaries of EJ areas within the city and locations of sites, facilities, and infrastructure which may raise environmental concerns. Environmental justice portal will be included on the city's website. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, know the other, I know how that feels now. Yeah. <laughs> I know the other side of the now. But, uh, you know, this, this, has been, this is a role model for other cities to follow on as the federal government steps away from environmental justice and environmentalism. Uh, we're stepping up to the plate to lead the world. Uh, so I want to thank uh, you, of course, Mr. Mayor, my, my colleague and partner in this, uh, Council Member uh, Inez Barron, who's been fighting 14 years that she's talked about. Uh, we Act, Peggy Shepard, Cecil Corbin Mark, and everyone there, Rebecca Batsby's from CUNY Law School, New York League of Conservation Voters, NRDC, and of course our staff, Samara Swanson, who has been fighting for environmental justice. I knew we got this right because I heard it in her voice at 11.30 at night, and we got it, and I, I knew that we did right. And Bill Murray, Nick Wazowski, and my team, and John Benjamin. So thank you, Mr. Mayor, for making this Thank you very much, Councilman. We have some folks who have signed up for public testimony. Just come over to the microphone. Everyone come up together and just take turns. Rebecca Bratspies. Uh, Norris McDonald, Reverend Frank Fraley, Thank you so much, Mayor Blasio, for signing this legislation today. I can't believe it. It's a dream come true. The legislation was derived from national legislation we were trying to draft. We're a national environmental group with a small New York office. But I drafted a national environmental justice bill. And we just couldn't get Congress to sign it. So we are looking around for other places, and New York was the perfect um, place for that. So 14 years ago, I approached Congressman, I mean, Congressman. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 that was the job. That was the past election. Tell me who Charles Barrett was supposed to get your promotion. Congressman <laughs> Barrett, 14 years ago, to um, introduce the legislation. Uh, he did 13 years um, ago. And um, it kind of languished, went through a number of chair, um, chairmen of the, of the committee, and then I reapproached um, Councilwoman Inez Barron in 2014, and she kindly reintroduced the legislation. So I thank you so much for signing. I can't believe we're here today. Mr. Chairman, thank you so much. Constantinidis, thank you so much for shepherding me through the committee. I just can't believe I'm standing here today. I flew all the way from Catalina Island. Please come visit. <laughs> so that's very people of offer. <laughs> but um, I really, really want to thank my good friend, Samara Swanson, yes. who worked tirelessly to get this. Thank you so much, Samara. I love you. I love you. And thank you.
still in the NGOs. Thank you very much, everybody. Oh, that's not much. I, I, I want to give a very special thanks to Charles Barron. I really want to re revisit that. Thank you, Charles, for initiating this process. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of the City Council. My name is Reverend Frank Fraley. I represent an organization called Share New York, Safe, Healthy, Affordable, Reliable Energy for All New Yorkers. And we are champions of environmental justice, uh, so we would not let this opportunity pass. Uh, we want to be here with you, members of the City Council, with the Mayor, uh, and with our dear friend, Norris McDonald, uh, to congratulate everyone on their hard work, Council Member Barron, and, and all who have contributed to this. Uh, the far-reaching effects of an environmental justice bill or bills like this uh, will have a tremendous impact on our communities. Uh, many of the communities of color which have been mentioned this afternoon, we are advocates advocates for, uh, and we, we bring them issues on energy and environment that are not often discussed in our communities. Uh, so doing this today uh, will simply give a louder and more robust voice to that issue uh, and allow all of us to breathe cleaner uh, and better air here in New York City. So thank you very much. Thank you. Good job. Congratulations, everyone.